What does sawdust and railroad ties have to do with business intelligence? That's coming up. Hi, I'm Adam Saxon, and today's Thursday, which means we're gonna do our information roundup like we do every Thursday here on Guy in a Cube. And this week was a little bit of a slow week, so we only have a few items to go through. First up on the list is the universal app for Power BI. This means that it will run on Windows 10 desktop, tablets, and phone. So if you've got a shiny new Windows Phone 10 device, go ahead and check out this app. Also, if you've got a Windows 10 desktop or Surface, Surface Book or other Windows 10 tablet device, go ahead and check it out as well. Next on the list is a blog post from Ginger Grant where she talks about content packs and probably the best way to go about doing it. And she goes about it the same way that I tell people to go about it as well, and that is to use organizational content packs in conjunction with group workspaces. That really makes the features pop and enables the best collaboration experience. So if you haven't checked out the organizational content packs or the group features, go ahead and check out this blog post and see what her thoughts are on how to go about using it. Next on the list is a blog post by Patrick LeBlanc where he talks about the ability to use URLs to actually get to the right report page inside of your report. This is through the Power BI service. Go ahead and check out this blog post. It's a quick read, but it's a really neat trick that you can use to get to report pages very quickly. All right, last on my list for this week is a blog post by Rob Colley from Power Pivot Pro, where he highlights the OSS manual that's been going around Facebook. And if you're not familiar with OSS, that was the precursor organization to the CIA. And what was released by the OSS and has since been declassified is a sabotage manual that was released during World War II. Rob's got a fun blog post where he looks at some highlights from those manuals where it talks about sawdust, and small items of grain and gasoline tanks, how to undo railroad ties to cause destruction. It also highlights some things to do for companies, and he makes that correlation to traditional BI approaches and why we should be looking forward to new BI approaches. He doesn't come outright and actually say exactly what those approaches are, but I'm gonna take a little liberty here and think that he's talking about self-service BI and what things like Power BI has to offer to you and potentially even what SQL Server 2016 is gonna be offering you. So go ahead and check out this blog post. Like I said, it's a fun read and you may learn a few interesting things that the CIA was up to in World War II under the OSS flag. Okay, those are my top items for this last week. Hopefully you found them as interesting as I did. I'd love to hear your comments. Go ahead and leave those down below and tell me what you thought. Are you using organizational content packs? along with groups. Did you know about the URL feature that Patrick talked about? Have you taken a look at that OSS manual on sabotage? Let me know down below. And as always, I have links for all the items I talked about down in the description as well. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. Every Thursday I do an information roundup just like this where I take a look at the last week and find items that were interesting to me and share those out with you. And every Tuesday I take a look at a technical item where I either look at a new feature, how something works, or how to troubleshoot something and share that out with you as well. And really, this is about you. I wanna help you be more effective and successful in the things that you do. So go ahead and subscribe and be part of the conversation.